Call me Kevin. Eight months ago, I'm going to swap to uploading every second day for a week or two. I feel I need it and will make a video on it soon. Hey there, friends. How's it going? No, really. How are you? How, how are you doing? I'm going to assume you said amazing. Otherwise, this next clip will seem insensitive. Ah, oh, great. Oh, me. Um, good. Yeah, I'm doing great. I can't complain, can I? And even if I did, who would listen? And I find it hard to complain. I'm in a very privileged position here, and I know that. But I think that's my problem in a way. I've allowed myself to get too comfortable. And I feel like I need to embrace being uncomfortable. The camera's actually fine. I'm just doing that thing to make it seem artsy. Okay, there we go. So yeah, I'm sorry for not doing an update video after completely changing how I do things here. I uploaded videos daily for years. And I think I just hit a breaking point. Not so much with what I was doing. I did find it a bit overwhelming, but I was I was hanging in there. But I started to think, is this all I want to do? Because at that pace, that is all I could do. And by the way, welcome to any new subscribers there. Since I actually changed a lot and more new people came in, which is awesome to see. It's good to meet you. I'm Kevin. That's why the channel's called Call Me Kevin, weirdly enough. I, I haven't explained it to you yet, so you may not understand. What a great first impression. Just being condescending as hell. But yeah, I needed to do this change, but it also affected me negatively in a way because I ended up having a lot of free time. Now, don't get me wrong, I immediately put all that free time into the channel and editing and whatnot, but it was just what, looking back, looks like an excuse to avoid having to do anything else. I feel like on YouTube I've always worked hard, but I've probably been working in the wrong areas and not getting help in parts I need help and just trying to do things myself way too much. And I feel like it was almost a defense mechanism in a way, because I was working so much I didn't have to address so many other issues I was having because who cares, I'm busy, the mind's preoccupied. But it was leading me to this place where I felt like I didn't even want to make videos anymore. I was genuinely thinking, should I just stop? As much as I love it, I, I put myself in such a weird self-imposed place. But I've had a lot of time to adjust now and just think about who I am and what I want to do. And I love making videos. It's a passion of mine. It's something I've done since I was 16 years old. I'm older than that now. I won't even tell you. Okay, I'm 29, right? It's been a long time. And they've all been about gaming. And I love gaming. I love making videos on gaming. I love seeing your comments and your reactions to what I do in games that I probably shouldn't be doing. But at some point, there is almost a barrier where I feel like I can't really explore myself creatively anymore. So I don't want to stop gaming. I love gaming. I love making videos on gaming, as I just said. But I do need to make videos on other things too. And for that reason, we got something a little bit different coming tomorrow. I'm going to be doing a skateboarding video. Yeah, I do fall over. I'm going to be trying to learn to skateboard in seven days. And beyond that, I've got other videos lined up that I've already started working on. This has been going on far too long, by the way. I started one last January. That is t almost 12 months at this point. <laughs> And I'm still not done it. I'm like halfway done that video. So it's going to be another year before you even see it. But in the meantime, I've got other stuff like this skateboarding video. I tried to learn to drum in 30 days. I'm going to try and make actual art. And these have been hugely rewarding for me, creatively at least. I really, really hope you're going to enjoy them. As I said, the skateboarding one's coming tomorrow, so stick around for that one. We'll have the other ones coming in due course, and hopefully I'll be able to do them more often now that I've kind of gotten a bit more familiar with the process and also gotten so much help from everyone who works on this channel with me. I, we have so many people now when it comes to Anna, who helps me organize loads of things and just keep everything going like a well-oiled machine. We've got the editors thumbnails to be made. Uh, we've got background stuff going on that is, I just needed so much help and I didn't realize it. And without them, I would be lost. And now that we have so many awesome people that'll help us with all these projects, I can do other things. So I've got a music channel now. I'm just posting simple covers over there. It's just for fun, but I've been enjoying it. We'll see how this IRL stuff goes. If you like it here, I can just keep it here. If you hate it, then maybe I'll just stop making it. If you hate it here, I, I might make another channel to just have that stuff there as like a project. I'm not sure, but I'm really happy about the doors opening to me on, on YouTube. And I really hope you enjoy. I'm trying to make it as fun as possible for anyone who is willing to put up with me. And a, a lot of this is just really for, for my own personal growth and also my mental health. Because once 
I had that space to do nothing, I started to realize that I'm, I'm not actually as happy as I thought I was. I was just distracting myself from the problems and not addressing them. I think the past few months have been really good for that, for me mentally and as a person and just growing. And that goes for the gaming stuff too. I've had such a good time and, and such... A, a, an amazing experience reading the feedback about the little changes we've done since we've gone to one every two days and just how the videos are and how they seem to have a bit more point to them and people seem to be enjoying that has been hugely rewarding so it's it was a great decision on all fronts and honestly once every two days is kind of enough of me like I deal with me every day and it sucks <laughs> I think the thing about having a lot of extra time is it forces you to think and if anything I think way too much I can just never stop thinking which is why distractions work so well for me but when I had that time to think I was thinking like what am I doing with myself why why do I do the things I do why why am I the way I am and and just kind of questioning myself this sounds really deep but it's not it's just the basics of trying to understand yourself as a person and it's confusing when you're thinking stuff is wrong but you don't even know why or what is causing it so it's like to address the problem you need to even understand why the problem exists in the first place and it's just it's a tough one to figure out inside your own bubble sometimes. I'm just thinking about how, how much I was joking the skating was like a quarter-life crisis and now it's starting to legitimately sound like one. And I'm sorry for not making a video like this sooner and just explaining things. Like, I genuinely meant to make a video once I decided to swap these, like, within a week or two. And, you know, I, I wasn't even sure if I was going to stick with this one every two days. But it turns out when I started doing it, I couldn't even figure myself out. So I'd just be coming on a video just, like, I don't know what's happening, guys. Um, good to see you. Bye. Subscribe for more vague comments. But I'm glad I waited so I could be in a bit of a better place and, and have a bit of reflection on this to, to know where I'm going. And also, I just got really sick for no reason. It's been sickness and injuries for, like, the whole year for me. It's just never-ending. <laughs> and it's never anything too serious. But it's really frustrating just not being your full self for ages. And I think I just find it hard to make these videos. Like, even now I'm thinking, why am I making this? I, I don't know why any of this is interesting. <laughs> but I also feel like I want more personality back on the channel. I feel like YouTube in general has lost that a lot recently. But I've always just been slow to put myself out there. I don't even use social media. Like, nobody knows anything of what's going on with me. I I look about as shallow as a puddle, but I guess what I want to show with this IRL content is that there is a bit more to me, and I think everyone has depth to them. It's just, you know, you need some digging sometimes. And I think this IRL content is the perfect path to get that mix of trying to make something entertaining, because I, I don't want to make anything too serious. I want you to have a fun time when you're watching what I make. Uh, but I also feel like it's it's a bit easier to insert a bit more personality and updates and whatnot when it's all in real life. But I really hope you'll check out that skateboarding video tomorrow. I will be eagerly waiting, nervously waiting to see what people think. Bear in mind, it's my first time doing anything like this. So, you know, don't expect uh, a, a Steven Spielberg film or anything. Unless you're expecting Steven Spielberg uh, falling off a skateboard. In which case, then yes, it, it is exactly like that. But yeah, that's kind of it. Just a little update to let you know that uh, I, I wasn't doing so great. And I'm doing much better now. And I'm excited for the projects we're going to be doing and I hope you will enjoy them. A quick mention of course of the music channel I mentioned earlier if you want to check that out link is in the description there's also a link for merch I don't really push merch I, I don't like to push anything like that it's just there and if you like it consider getting one it's not really something I've ever done for money it's just there. <laughs> I think it's nice to have stuff that if people think it's cool they can get it, but don't feel like you have to do it to support me. I'm doing fine. It's just if you think it's neat, there's a whole winter collection up there now. You can check out more of my content here. If you're watching this after the skateboarding video is uploaded, then one of them should be the skateboarding video. And uh, I hope to see you all next time. Thank you so much for your support, newcomers and people who've stuck around with me for ages. I super appreciate it. Um, yeah, that's it. Bye for now.